but the good Lord knows them. And I salute them. And they deserve our salute today. Without forgetting all those Nagas who have kept the memory of the club alive to this day, including our former MPA Kyomo. To me, what is most crucial is this. If it were not for the Naga Club, the memorandum to the Simon Commission might never have seen the light of the day. Thank God it did. Because of the Naga Club and because memorandum of memorandum to the Naga Simon Commission, the Naga National Council as a cultural and political institution of all the Nagas was formally founded in 1946. Several prominent Nagas were involved in the making of the NNC. Amidst much suffering in the hands of the Indian Army, NNC grew as a political institution in the 1950s and 60s and even beyond because the Nagas of that day were united in their commitment to achieve political freedom for all the Nagas. NNC became a formidable force for the Indian government to reckon with. Was it not in the 1960s that Prime Minister Indira Gandhi even offered to the Nagas anything they wanted short of so sovereignty? Maybe some of you remember. But I was told by my own brother, Asan Shisha. Nagas then were materially poor, but they had God on their side because they trusted him. But practically today, with all the wealth and education at our disposal, the RSS-controlled BJP government in Delhi is simply playing politics because they know well that Naga Christians today have only a form of godliness devoid of spiritual power. Today, the Nagas are as divided as ever, each group pursuing its own selfish ends. Today, the Indian rupee can buy and sell Nagas for any purpose. Today, the Nagas underground, overground, and overground have become lovers of money. The Bible is emphatic in saying you cannot serve both God and money. Matthew 6, 24. And also, do not, the Bible says, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father, the love of God, is not in him. First John 2, 15. Fellow Nagas, we are pursuing our political battle today without God. Pursuing our political battle without God. And we are, may I say, and I dare say, we are being defeated on all fronts. We're not gaining anything. But the word, God's word says, not by human might, nor by human power, but by God's spirit, says the Lord Almighty, Zechariah 
for six. Beloved Agas, simply observing or celebrating even the Naga Club centenary will do no good for the Naga cause. We need to get down today, right now, on our knees and beg for God's mercy. We need, it's time for us to get down on our knees and beg for God's mercy. Or else, as I see, the future of both the church and the Naga society as a whole remains bleak. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. Psalm 51, 17. May God have mercy upon the Nagas.